Good day, everyone, and welcome to Sam Scapari's Wine Passion TV. I'm Sam, uh, and I haven't done one of these uh, wine reviews for a while. Uh, busy, busy making wine, busy running restaurants, busy doing lots of things. So uh, I've got four seconds up my sleeve uh, to do a uh, little review for a wine that I'm very passionate about. Tantara 2017 uh, Zodovich Vineyard from the Santa Rita Hills uh, in the Santa Barbara County or Santa Maria Valley in uh, in California. Um, good mate of mine, Ricky Hill, is the winemaker and I've uh, been fortunate enough to do the last two harvests over there um, and been involved in uh, vineyard sampling and winemaking and all, all the rest of it. So um, very, very... Very, very good wines. Uh, just recently scored a 91 points in the Spectator in the December issue of the Spectator. Um, small producer, uh, cult in their following from consumers. Um, but also, there's, a, uh, there, there's still one of those wineries that would like the broader reach of the wine drinking community. Um, you, know, you always want new people to try try your product, so um, like anything, always up for uh, for new lips, tasting the good juice. Anyway, so this is the first time I've had this one, 2017. Uh, it's been open for about half an hour. I've got the plum glass, get the tulip lip, maximise uh, fragrance and aromas and things like that. So straight off the bat, I get this beautiful. Beautiful aroma of almost a cranberry red red currant type thing going on. Um, a little bit of forest floor, a little bit of earthiness. A little bit of that, um, almost like a pot puree thing going on, but really, really interesting nose. There's a, there's a lot going on. There's a little, a little bit of waxiness about, about it. Nothing negative. It's just, it's got lots of interesting things. So there's only 1,200 bottles of this produced, so it's not a lot, not a lot at all. The mouth, so it's 14.8% alcohol, but it doesn't show through in its alcohol, so to speak. The fruit's plush, it's luscious, it's layered, but it does it does cut through with different things going on. Beautiful big dark cherries up the front. Then you get that bit of cranberry coming through the middle. There's a bit of acidity going sort of the three-quarter back palate, but then it just smooths out these beautiful silky tannins with a lick of acidity, which makes a couple of things. The wine's gonna age very well. It's gonna be paired very well with food, but also you can drink it on its own. So it's got a whole host of features about it that'll make this wine overall universal, which means it's a really good wine to get. Um, I'm not sure what the price is on it. Um, I would imagine it wouldn't be, it'd be in between the 40 to $60 price point, but complex, Mouth filling, rich, very well made. Um, less is more. All the goodness goes into it. Heart and soul, passion. Um, get it, Tantara, two thousand and seventeen, the Santa Rita Hills, Zodovich Vineyard. Go and get some. <laughs>